Let's look at a subcategory of impulse momentum. It's called impact. Okay. Now, this kind of uh, analysis is useful when you involve two or more particles and when they collide. Okay. And the impact time is very, very short. Okay. For example, in the game of pool. Okay. So you have a cue ball hitting a number ball. Okay. So this collision takes place in a very, very short amount of time. Okay. So this is called impact. Now there are two types of impact. First, it's called head-on collision. Right? So when this first object, A, okay, is colliding with the, the second particle, B, okay, along the same direction. Okay? The same horizontal direction in this case. Right? It's called direct central impact. Okay? And this line right here, along the line of action, it's called the direct central impact direction, okay, or DCI direction. The second type of impact is called oblique impact. Okay, that is when the velocity of uh, the two objects are different directions. Right? So this can be at any angle, B can be at any angle as well, and eventually they will meet, they will collide. Right? So this type is called oblique impact. Now when they do meet in the end, okay. So let's say A is here and B is right around here, for example. Okay. So the moment when they meet, this point right here, okay, you can actually define two directions. One is the tangent direction. It's called T, tangent. The second direction is the direction that is perpendicular to the tangent direction, called the normal direction. Right? Tangent and normal. And they're perpendicular to each other. And this normal direction, okay, I'm going to call it DCI direction as well. Okay? Although it's oblique impact, right? Uh, but for convenience purpose, Okay. This normal direction, okay, when they do actually meet, right, let's call it the DCI direction. Right? So, <coughs> two types of impact. How do the, uh, the impulse momentum equation apply to this situation? Well, let's look at it. We have two objects again, right? So uh, let me redraw this all together. Particle A, particle B. Now A and B, let's for the sake of uh, discussion, I'm going to say they are coming each other head on. That is the direct central impact. Okay. So A is going this way and B going this way. Okay. Velocity. Okay. Now A might be subject to any number of external forces, let's say F A, and okay. B same thing, F B. Okay. Now this could be a friction force or any kind of external um, force. Okay. Now, between A and B when they do collide, there's this thing called collision forces. Okay. F collision would be vector. Okay. Now this collision force at B comes from this particle A. So this collision force acting on A is exactly the same as this one except it's the opposite. Right, negative F collision right, acting on A, but this comes from B. Right, so these two are equal but opposite. Okay. I'm going to call this direct central impact line right, through these two particles. Okay. Let me 
apply the impulse momentum equation to each of the particles and see what happens. Particle A. The impulse term would be sum okay, or integral of all the forces in this case, okay, call it collision force A plus this other external force, FA, greater over dt equals the change of linear momentum okay, for A. So mv of A, ma times dA after, okay, that is position 2, minus ma va before position 1. Alright? Same thing for particle B. Okay. Integral of collision force B plus FB ET equals MB EB final minus the linear momentum for B initial. Alright? So now we have two equations. Equation 1, equation 2. Let's combine it. 1 plus 2. See what happens. So, left hand side, when you add it together, since collision force of A equals minus A, the negative of collision force B. So when you add these two together, A cancel out. Okay? So left hand side, what's remained is this plus FB, the all other external forces. Okay? Going from T1 to T2. Right hand side, add things together, okay, group all the, the final terms together. So okay, MA, BA, plus MB, BB, final minus initial MA VA plus MB DB initial okay so this 2 is after okay? 1 represents before okay now, here's the trick now that's inside it's the impulse term okay this right here, since it's integrated over time. However, during this collision, the impact time is very, very short. dt okay, is so short that we're going to call it zero. Okay? Therefore, this whole term goes zero. So the entire left hand side disappears. So, what's left from this equation is just the right hand side. So, I can move one term over. So, I have MA VA plus MB BB before equals MA VA plus and be, be, be after. Okay? So that's it. This is your impact equation. Okay? Applicable to your entire system, okay, which could consist of two or more particles. Okay? In my example, I only have object A and B, but you can have three or four, any number of particles. Right? You sum all the linear momentum together of all the particles before impact. And that equals exactly the sum of linear momentum after impact. Okay? So sum of linear momentum before equals sum of linear momentum after. That is what it means. Now let's look at it.